all right so now i'm going to show you how you can install your first flask server on ec2 instance first i'm going to create a new folder in a document and inside this document i'll be running my flask server and to do that i need to first create here a new folder and uh, i'm gonna give a name to this new folder to a bird and inside this bird then i'm going to create here a new file in which i'll write my first application uh, first application of uh, flask server let's go ahead create a new text file then we will rename it to python file so in this text document i'm gonna do here app.py uh, click on this one in fact uh, actually we need to also show here extension as well all right so in uh, this dot txt we need to remove it now we want to change it to a python file all right so this is app dot py and then what i'm going to do here i'm going to edit it and i can edit it with our uh, with our uh, uh, notepad itself you don't need any special uh, uh, the editor there all right since we already have our uh, flask application installed in this computer so the first thing which we can do here we can simply uh, write there a from flask import flask do remember here this f is capital and once it is done then i'm gonna import this flask inside this app variable and uh, then i'm gonna say here a flask underscore underscore name all right so this is actually a current module as a argument i'm gonna pass here and after that i'm gonna write here a root function a root function is a decorator in a flask and it tells it is kind of a api creation so it tells our urls that root to this particular address so the first one i'm gonna do here app all right and dot root all right so whenever we try to access our uh, root directory it will open um, the method which is just below of this app root all right and the method which i'm gonna put here i'm gonna put here a def then i'm gonna just say predict all right so this is a predict not in fact a predict i'm just gonna write here hello i'll make another predict all right so this is a python method and uh, then you need to give here a uh, tab then i'm gonna cite here uh, say right here return hello and it's working all right perfect once it is done then i'm gonna write here a main driver function in the main driver i'm going to say that if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal to is equal to main i mean if it is main file all right then i'm going to run this one okay so if this is a main file then what i can do here app dot run all right so inside this run what it will do it will run on this local computer but we want to run it at 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 address although this is the same as previous one and then finally i'm gonna say here this debug is equal to true so this address and the local host is almost the same but uh, i'm using this address because i also want to access it from a remote location as well not only on this ec2 instance so once you have this app.py all right so this is uh, this is a default address from where we can access this flask application and the default port here a default port is 5000 whether if you give a port number or not a default port will be always a 5000 let's go ahead and save it and then close this file then i'm gonna just take this uh, i'm just gonna copy this address all right you can just copy it from here and uh, 
then I'm gonna CD and then I'm gonna paste it here in fact I think uh, uh, control and V all right so I'm gonna paste it now I'm inside this document word and then simply I can just type there Python app dot py all right now you see I think there a little mistake I have made here let's go ahead and open it again with this notepad and yes so that is a mistake here I had made that uh, next time I'll show you how you can download here uh, another editor the notepad plus plus or sublime text on this um, EC2 instance for a better and the faster processing let's go ahead and run it again and again oh sorry sorry it is again saying that invalid syntax because uh, I'm including here this one so I'm just gonna say that it is working and apart from that let me check it again so that it does not throw an error again I think now it's okay all right so now this time I'm not gonna uh, the close it learn okay let's close it in fact for uh, simplicity and again I'm gonna run it wow once again I have got this error sorry I should have actually downloaded it all right so it is saying that if this name is equal to is equal to okay I think that's okay here it's error is here actually all right now this should work that should now work otherwise I'm gonna kill myself all right now you can see it very clearly that it is running at this port and another thing also you should notice here that this is not a development server because this is very small server and it cannot handle a lot of request together all right so what I'm going to do here to access this um, flask server in your browser only simply you need to type there a local host all right so once you type their local host you would not get connected because you need to get connected at a 5000 port all right so there at the 5000 port you will get this that hello it is working congratulations you have run your first flash server on ec2 instance i'll show you in next lesson how you can run your prediction model with bert